After a long and bitterly cold winter, spring arrives in the Pamir Alai Mountains, renewing local pastures. At this time of year, the village women and children are normally busy tending their animals and taking them to graze in nearby pastures. This year, however, people in the villages around the town of Jirgatol are experimenting with a new approach. All the animals have been taken to graze in pastures some 12 kilometers away from the village, where a small team of herders takes care of them. The animals can stay here because a couple of new stables have been built to protect them from the cold spring rains, at a time when the newborn lambs are most vulnerable. Now the animals can stay here in spring before being taken to the distant summer pastures, and again in autumn when they return. The construction of the stables was supported by a research, development and capacity building project executed by the United Nations University. The project is backed by the Global Environment Facility and implemented on the ground by the Aga Khan Development Network. The project, Sustainable Land Management in the High Pamir and Pamir Alai Mountains, known as PALM, supports a variety of micro-projects proposed by local communities and studies their evolution and results. The aim is to improve the livelihoods of the people while preserving the fragile environment in which they live. It was clear to the project team that keeping the animals near the village during springtime led to overgrazing of the young grasses on the accessible pastures and hayfields, both reducing hay harvests and leaving bare land exposed to erosion by rains and wind. Finally, the animals could not be properly fattened due to the lack of accessible good pastures. The project tries to identify uh, through community-based land use planning uh, the key land degradation issues at several pilot sites across the region, basically to support the communities with uh, identifying and implementing some targeted measures uh, that can help to improve their livelihoods and well-being as well as the state of the natural uh, ecosystems uh, on which they depend. As a pilot test of promising solutions, two different types of stables are being trialed to observe the behavior of the animals and improve the stable's functionality. It seems the animals feel more at ease in this open-air stable, which is now receiving its final touches. Released from the drudgery of caring for their animals, the village women now have time for craft work. After morning prayer, Maile Honyarova and her neighbors process wool and sew clothes an additional source of income for the community. Thanks to their increased free time, elders like Mailehon can pass along their knowledge to the younger generation. Before, farmers like Mailehon found it difficult to rely on the village pastures to feed their animals. Summer has arrived, bringing with it greener pastures further away from the village. <laughs> Mullah Murad and his neighbors are leaving to set up camp in the distant summer pastures. This time, they are traveling by truck on a recently improved road. 
This road enables them to leave earlier in the season, giving hay and crop fields around the village a longer time to regenerate. The convenience of the road has also encouraged more people from the village to join the group with their animals. Like the construction of the stables, improvement of the road is also a micro-project. In Jirgital, the key issue has turned out to be access to pastures. Degradation of pastures in the surrounding the settlement areas has been a, a key problem. Improving roads um, leading to summer pastures as well as um, construction of stables, which can host um, livestock earlier in their season outside the villages, is helping to reduce pressure on those surrounding pastures surrounding the villages. After a while on the road, some of the passengers are dropped off along the way. Some build camps very close to the road, while others will go further into the mountains using camels. In this way, all the animals won't be grazing in the same area. <laughs> The road not only helps to transport the villagers and their belongings, it provides easy access to the summer pastures for buyers from the market, who can now come to buy animals and dairy products from the herders during midsummer. It also helps to transport hay for the winter, which is in short supply in the village, from the summer pastures. The herders also welcome the improved safety, as the road allows them to reach healthcare facilities more quickly in case of emergencies. But while the road has brought considerable benefits to the community, it also has had some unintended consequences. <laughs> The road has made it easier for people to come and harvest firewood, taking it back in their vehicles. When the community noticed this, they decided to build the road only halfway to the summer pastures in order to better preserve the vegetation. That is why the road ends here. From this point, they must walk and carry their belongings on animals for several hours. <laughs> In this way, the community is attempting to find a balance between improving their lives and preserving their environment. Villagers are also planning for the future. They have a village fund to cover the expenses of maintaining the road and stables. They are ready to work in the maintenance themselves, based on their ancestral tradition of community labor. Beyond improving conditions of their own communities, the experience of the people in Jirgatol in implementing these pilot micro-projects can benefit other areas of the High Pamir and Pamir Alai Mountains by offering valuable insights into the ways in which these initiatives can safeguard the environment while improving the lives of people.